My bro say we slime, we slime for show. No, I ain't beefing with niggas, they hot in the house and these niggas be hoes. I tell her to keep it a G with a nigga, these hoes be lying the most. And no, I can't give you a feature, little nigga. He's yeah. Damn, when I seen him, I'm like, man, that motherfucker fucked up. Yeah. I'm talking about that. Man, I know. Yeah. <laughs> How was your reaction after? I know you just kind of stirred up, like, just happy. I, I, I was just blessed, man. You know what I mean? The first thing I did was praise, give all praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I made it. You know what I'm saying? I thank God that I made it and, you know, I, I learned from it. I definitely learned from it to, you know, I, I always drove for other people anyway when I drive. You know what I'm saying? So I always vision, look ahead and vision my next move anyway when I'm driving. Cause I like to drive fast. You know what I'm saying? So, but, um, yeah, I definitely learned from it. And it was definitely a blessing to still be here and walk away from it. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. I was uh, listening to your song, uh, Bankroll and shit. Uh -huh. That motherfucker nice, bro. I appreciate that. appreciate uh, that. Like that. How you come up with that concept with that? I was, I was digging it. Actually, um, I had the track. And me and Zeus, I sent it to Zeus. And um, Zeus just got them, you know, humming. Just like we do when we, you know, come up with records. And he was just... Uh, 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 bankroll. Uh, 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 uh. And you got that voice too, that yeah, kind of that sure, raspy sure. and that singing raspy. Yeah, bitch, you know yeah. What I'm so that's how we came up with it, and you know, I just fed off of, I just fed off of him, and he knocked the record out in like 20 minutes. Yeah. Do, y do you write when you're in the studio, or you kind of like kind of punch it in, or you know, um, have everything I don't, ready to go? I like to already have my verses written and ready to go. Cause I don't like to get in the studio and waste time. But I can get in the studio if I if I have my verses already written and ready to go. I can knock out three, four songs in an hour and a half. Cause that's the way that I record. I record quick. I already know what, what I'm gonna say, where I want to punch in, the melodies I want to use, the octaves, how I want to switch my voice here and there. So I already got it. I practice it time and time again before I even go to the studio. What you need when you get in the studio? What you be need to cook up? Gas, females. Nah, I don't see. I don't. I don't. I don't like people around me when I record. Just let me blow, turn the lights off, and hit record. I don't. I don't need a whole bunch of people around. I don't need no women around me. Contrary to popular belief, like I'm real modest, bro. Like I'm real modest, man. People think otherwise, but like I'm. I'm a real modest guy. So all the females being around me, I don't need all of that. I really don't. Just you in the studio, basically. Yeah. That's, all the yeah. other shit. All the other shit to me is a distraction. Right. To some, to some people, is is creative. Right. But I don't already have my creative experiences before I walked into the studio. Right. So I already know where I'm gonna go with everything. So I don't need any distractions around me. Right. Now you know we were getting ready to bust out in the first quarter. What you uh, got bubbling in the first quarter? How you gonna roll out on the first quarter? Well, this new album that I'm dropping is called Misunderstood. Um, and that's a, that title right there is self-explanatory. I'm, I'm misunderstood in a lot of ways. Um, we all are, you know what I mean? Especially the people with, without conscientious understandings. Um, we're all misunderstood, man, but especially me. I get, I get a chance to go deeper into, you know, who I am as a person on this record. And um, people gonna love it, man. People gonna love it. What you feel like? most understood about you as a person. You know, I should say, what about you that you like for people to know about you, you know, the most? I don't think, I don't think there's anything that I want to say, because people going people to judge you and have their own, you know what I'm saying, perception of you, based off of how you deal with them. Because how I deal with you may not be the same way I deal with him. You know what I'm saying? But I treat everybody fair. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm not into I'm not into playing nobody. I'm not into doing none of that. I've just been misunderstood in a lot of situations where my reputation from the streets may have overshadowed the person that I am now. You know what I'm saying? So just don't don't judge me for who I was. Absolutely. I get, I get that too. Like, once we change and kind of like get out of that street realm and start doing like the, the corporate and the business gangster kind of life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All legitimate. I think it's hard for people to kind of grab hold of it. He's still doing that somewhere and you, you, you're sure. not. You know sure. what I'm saying? You, right. You're totally submerged into doing it the right way. Legally, 
paying your taxes, networking, building, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I definitely uh, I definitely can kind of feel you when it comes to that for people that are yeah. looking at your past and then trying to put it in with what you are now. You're like, man, I ain't even that same dude. No exactly. Like, look at shit like that. I don't even exactly. behave like that, think like that. I don't even probably hang with the same dude that I used to right. be yeah, I, I never try. I never live in the past, man. Never. What other uh, investments outside of music that you uh, playing the fuck with or you got going on? Um, I'm creating a uh, a sock line. A sock line? Yeah, I got a crazy fetish for socks. I'm like, like, it's, I'm like, it's, I'm like white socks too. I'm like cutting white yo, socks. Yo, it's it's crazy, bro. Like I got I got like some of the craziest off the hook socks that you'll see. You know what I mean, and it's just it's just become my thing over the past three or four years. Where I just got stupid, crazy, weird socks. That's crazy. So I figure I'm gonna make my own sock line. Um, come out with that, and then um, you know I got my merchandise line. My you know my t-shirts, my headbands, sports bras, sweatsuits. Um, you know things like that. Um, cars. I'm in the cars, so I sell cars. Got my independent dealer's license. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rocking with how old uh, how old is your oldest child? My oldest well my oldest living child is twenty one. Yeah. He'll be twenty two next month. Yeah. How he take like daddy music and like you know what I'm saying? Oh he nice with it. Yeah. He nice with it too. So yeah. yeah, he I caught him, I didn't know. I caught him, you know what I'm saying? Like I caught a I found I found a little book, composition notebook, you know. And I'm like, oh he talking some shit. Oh, he talking some shit. Yeah, so like you know, let me hear this. You know what I mean? Let me see let me see your delivery. But you know, he was nervous, but Right, right, right. Yeah, he got it. He got it. He got it on us. Have y'all yeah. recorded it together? Have y nah, y nah. Did Unfortunately, did? um my son, he got caught up in a situation, you know, being around some people I advise him not to be with, man, and he caught ten years, man. So Yeah. 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 So um, you know. How long you been gone? You been, you been um, about two years. He got like six left. Okay. Yeah, he got like six left. That ain't too bad. You know, he do a little eight piece. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, he, he'll still be a young man when he come home. Yeah, yeah. You know so, he understand it now, everything I told him. I now he getting it. Now he you know getting it. Mean? Yeah. yeah. Now I was to tell him, like, I already lived that life so he wouldn't have to. You know what I mean, like, I took some chances and, you know what I mean, sacrifice and save so you can, you know what I mean? But sometimes you just gotta let him bump his head. We all do. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Me and him both got sons too, so we yeah. already know that that time is coming. Hopefully they can dodge it, but if they don't, then sure. they don't have to go through it just like we did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got any other pieces outside of like groups and shit that you can touch base with artists locally? Um, to be honest with you, and this may sound cocky, I don't want it to come off that way, but I don't, <laughs> I have feet, like, I've, I'm featured on other people's projects, but I don't have any, like, real, real, like, if it's not the click, I'm good. I'm good, and it, it, it may sound bad because I rock with a lot of people in the city, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people rock with me, but I just know like when it come to how we deliver, they don't like fucking with us, bro, <laughs> period, and I'm, I'm, I will bar a nigga to death, you know what I mean, like, and, and I'm, I'm going to throw, throw this challenge out there again to all y'all watching. I got 2500 for any rapper, anybody who feel like they can fuck with me. Anybody, man, 2500 Come get this easy paper, man. <laughs> y'all hear it on the line, huh? Yeah, Come get this easy paper, it. man. You say 2500 2500 man. Ball for ball. Ball for ball, song for song, whatever. I'm going to give you the blues. <laughs> How you come up with that name though, bro? Where, where that name come from? Being my Mexican background, you know what I'm saying? And in New York, we call we call dope Montega. You know what I'm saying? So that's just that's where it came from. Before that, my name was Lou Cipher. Cause 
Lou being from St. Louis, even though I'm in New York, you know what I'm saying? I still, I never said like, I'm not from St. Louis. Like you got a lot of artists who went to Cali and you know, certain places and like, they didn't know they from St. Louis. Like Domino. Nobody knew Domino was from the crib. Yeah, nobody yeah, knew. Yeah, nobody, nobody, nobody knew. Nobody knew. Yeah. Thought he was straight from Cali. Thought he was straight from Cali. This yeah. nigga straight from the west side somewhere. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah. Domino was my cat too, yeah. bro. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Was my cat, man. But even though like my dialect changed because I, I was raised there and grew up there, like I'm still from St. Louis at the end of the day. Absolutely. I'm still from I'm still from St. Louis no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So. That's where, that's where the name came from.